Hello, I'm Scott Shu, Program Director for the Fusion Energy Programs at RPE. And I'm Colleen Neal. I'm a Technical Advisor for the RPE Fusion Portfolio. Today, Scott and I are going to walk you through RPE's Fusion Investments. Scott, some people are surprised to learn that RPE even has a Fusion Portfolio. Can you talk a little bit about why RPE invests in Fusion and how these investments differ from other Fusion work underway in the Department of Energy? Yes, indeed. DOE has a significant portfolio of Fusion research spanning the ITER project and foundational fusion science at the Office of Science to inertial confinement fusion at the National Nuclear Security Administration. RPE's fusion portfolio is also highly diverse, but singularly focused on higher risk but potentially transformative R&D. While the other parts of DOE are concerned with showing that fusion is technically feasible and possible, RPE is focused on enabling timely commercially viable fusion energy. This requires the R&D to be informed by techno-economic analysis and commercial requirements like projected capital cost. Scott, when did these fusion investments at RPE start? At RPE, fusion started with the ALPHA program in 2015. ALPHA stands for Accelerating Low-Cost Plasma Heating and Assembly, and it focused on supporting a class of lower-cost fusion concepts called magneto-inertial fusion. Alpha had good technical successes, including experimental evidence for fusion neutron production for the first time for several concepts. And there were over $15 million in private funding uh, attracted by the Alpha teams, more than 50 scientific, scientific papers published, and three new private fusion company spinouts, one of which recently closed a Series A investment round, including Chevron Technology Ventures. We provide a link to our retrospective paper on the Alpha program for anyone interested in more details. And Scott, I know the Alpha program is close to your heart because you led an Alpha team until you were recruited to come to RPE to serve as a program director to continue and grow the Fusion portfolio. Can you take us through the way the portfolio has grown since you came to RPE? Yes, so my program development efforts at RPE led me to focus on three priorities for Fusion the need for more lower cost concepts at higher levels of fusion performance to accelerate the path to demonstrating net energy gain and attract more private investments and private sector interest. Second, the need to accelerate progress in solving many materials and technological challenges between the fusion plasma and the balance of plant, so as to shorten the development time between achieving net energy gain and a grid ready demonstration. And finally, to get the public and private sector fusion researchers working together more for mutual benefit. One example of RPE's work to advance the performance of lower cost fusion is the Princeton FRC or field reverse configuration. The Princeton FRC experiment is testing innovative plasma confinement and heating techniques. With RPE funding and the efforts of a large and diverse group of students, we aim to increase the plasma ion temperature to an excess of 3 million degrees centigrade. Our concept, a very small, low radioactivity fusion power plant, would allow faster and cheaper development and implementation. The compact size of PFRC enables unique applications such as modular, portable, and remote power, expanding the market for nuclear fusion. In April 2020, ARPA-E announced selections for the follow-on program to Alpha, called Beta, but named after Hans Beta, the Nobel Prize winner. Beta, spelled B-E-T-H-E, stands for Breakthroughs Enabling Thermonuclear Fusion Energy. And we provide a link uh, with more information on the program and its projects. Beta focuses on the first and third priorities that Scott mentioned a moment ago. For example, Type 1 Energy is pursuing advanced manufacturing of non-planar high-temperature superconducting coils as a way to lower the cost of the relatively high-performing Stellarator concept. The Stellarator is second only to the Tokamak in plasma performance and possesses engineering advantages as the heart of a fusion reactor. The required magnet coils, however, can be challenging. Type 1 Energy, in cooperation with UW-Madison, and MIT is combining recent advances in additive manufacturing and high temperature superconductivity to make a compelling and economically competitive vision 
for a Stellarator Fusion Power Core. One way to get the public and private sectors to work together more for mutual benefit are what we call capability teams, consisting of world-leading fusion scientists at our national labs and universities who help our fusion concept teams overcome their scientific challenges. For example, through state-of-the-art diagnostic measurements, or, as with our beta team from Virginia Tech, with theory and computational modeling. Our team at Virginia Tech, in collaboration with Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, is inspired by the prospect of putting fusion energy on the grid, which may also lead to the development of novel space power systems in the future. Theory and simulation remain a critical backbone to advance fusion energy, and our capability team brings expertise in advanced computing to support disruptive innovation and viability of multiple fusion concepts. The challenges we will address include optimization of fusion equilibria, understanding and mitigation of stability problems, and guidance to improve designs. Through novel, computationally efficient, and analytically justified models, coupled with validation experiments, our capability team is able to support concepts in an unprecedented manner to advance the fusion energy field. While the beta program kicked off in August 2020, and a link to the kickoff website will be provided, RPE has also been busy launching a new fusion program, this one is a joint program with the Fusion Energy Sciences program in the Office of Science. The program is called GAMOW, G-A-M-O-W, for Galvanizing Advances in Market-Aligned Fusion for an Overabundance of Watts. GAMOW was, in fact, inspired by a famous physics paper by Alpha, Beta, and GAMOW. The GAMOW program focuses on the materials and technologies needed between the fusion plasma and balance of plant. Please take a peek at the projects that were only recently announced, and we hope to update you again before too long uh, with more news from ARPA-E on Fusion. Thank you for joining us.